Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that you should be adding to your TBR for next year. So I've done a lot of research lately on all of the YA and adult books that are coming out in the year of 2021 and I'm really excited to share those with you guys. I found a lot of books that I'm super excited to read. I've already pre-ordered a bunch of them so without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to organize these by the publication date so when they're scheduled to come out. Now the publication date might change between now and then but as of right now these are when these books are coming out. So the first book and probably the book that I'm most excited for that isn't a sequel is Cast and Firelight by Donna Swift. So this book is about two heirs to two different kingdoms being betrothed to be married and they are kind of rivals so that's a really interesting take on a rivalry. I love when there are certain circumstances that make two rivals come together and in this case these two are betrothed to be married and in the end they have to end up trusting each other because there is a threat in the kingdoms and they need to come together to determine who that threat is and how to stop them which sounds really good to me. I'm really excited to read it. As of right now this book will be published on January 9th. The next book is Unchosen by Catherine Blair and this book is set to come out on January 26th. So this book is all about how someone feels unchosen, hence the title. So in this book the main character has gone through a lot recently and one thing that has kind of taken over her entire life is that there is a curse called crimson spreading throughout humanity and it's changing people into flesh-eating monsters which alone sounds like a pretty good storyline right but this author went a little bit above that and the main character her crush that she's had a crush on for a long time ends up falling in love with her older sister and her younger sister is the chosen one to cure this curse that's going around. So she really feels like she is unchosen and I can't wait to read about this book. The next book I can't talk too much about because it is a sequel to one of my favorite series and that is All the Tides and Fate by Adeline Grace. So All the Stars and Teeth, which is the first book in this duology, came out this year. I read it for the Owl's Magical Readathon back in April and I completely fell in love with the story. I read it in two days and it just completely transported me to a whole nother world which is what I love most about fantasy and the synopsis for the second one sounds even better than it did for the first one so I'm extremely excited to dive back into this world. The only bad part about this for me is that it is only a duology so after this second book comes out that's the last of this world which is really heartbreaking to me because I don't really want it to end but I can't wait to see what happens in this second book. The next book is A Dark and Hollow Star, Ashley Shuttleworth. This book follows four queer teenagers as they try to protect their fairy world. And in this world, fairies have been living among the humans under Toronto for a very long time without humans ever even knowing. And then a serial killer's crimes are threatening to expose fairies to humans and these four queer teenagers each have a key to the truth behind these crimes and they have to work together to figure out how to stop this serial killer from exposing fairies to humanity. And this book was said to be a cross between The Cruel Prince and City of Bones. And I haven't read The Cruel Prince, but I absolutely adore City of Bones. So if it is anything like City of Bones at all, I'm sure I will love it. So I'm really excited to read this. And I also love books about serial killers and that kind of mystery going along of trying to find out who did it and why and how to stop them. So I love that plot line. So I 
think that this is a great book to add to your TBR if you do as well. The next book is Dragonfly Girl by Marty Lembach. This comes out February 23rd. This book follows our main character named Kira as she wins a science competition and after she did that she impressed a doctor who offered her a part-time job in his laboratory and everything was going great. She was loving her part-time job but one day as she was checking on the mice that they've been using, one of them had died and she went to take it out of its cage and one second it was in her hand laying dead and the next it came back to life. So this book kind of follows her journey figuring out that she can bring animals and possibly people back from the dead. And I'm really curious about this book to see if there are any consequences of being brought back from the dead and if she's the only person in the entire world that has a power like this. So I have a bunch of questions about this book already and I can't wait to get my hands on it. This is definitely one book that I have already pre-ordered and am eagerly anticipating. The next two books on this list come out on the same day, April 6th. So the first book is The Half Orphans Handbook. follows our main character a couple of months after her father had committed suicide. So this book is definitely not a light-hearted book. I'm sure it deals with a lot of intense topics and for that reason alone I can't wait to get my hands on it. She is dealing with that and as she's dealing with that she gave herself two rules to follow. One, to never fall in love as love will just bring her more pain. And two, to stay away from liars. And so her mom sent her to this grief camp to deal with losing her father and while she's there she is basically forced back to the land of the living. She finds friends there and even potentially has a crush on someone and so she has to learn to continue living on with her life even though she is dealing with a very traumatic loss in her life and as someone who has dealt with a very traumatic loss in my own life recently, I am really excited to read this and see how an author goes about telling this story. The next book also coming out on April 6th is The Infinity Courts by Acme Dawn Bowman. I hope I'm saying that right. This book follows our main character as she is on her way to a party but unfortunately she never makes it as she gets unexpectedly murdered. And the majority of this book takes place after she's been murdered in the afterlife. She wakes up in this place called Infinity which is where your conscious mind goes after your physical body has died. And there it is revealed to her that the AI that everyone on Earth has been using is actually planning to erase humanity completely and her and a couple other teenagers in Infinity work to stop this AI from destroying all of humanity. So I think this is going to be a really fascinating book because AIs are supposed to help people and it's supposed to make life easier. But in this case, the AI that is helping people and making people's lives easier is actually plotting to rid the world of those people. So I think that's a really unique concept that I haven't read anything about. Aside from that, the view in the afterlife is always a super interesting topic to hear all different sides of. And for a lot of different reasons, I'm super excited to read this book. So the next book is Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller and it comes out on May 4th. This book follows a girl who is a bladesmith and one day she is commissioned by a warlord to create this blade that when you stab someone it steals all that victim secrets and it cuts far deeper than the blade actually goes. She's a very powerful bladesmith so she starts working on this blade and she figures out that the intentions of this warlord are not what she initially thought they were. So she takes 
her sister, I assume the blade as well, and flees so that he cannot do with this blade what he wants to do. The next book is Version Zero by David Yoon and it's coming out on May 25th. This book follows our main character, Max, and he works for this data collection company. And when he starts asking questions about what this company does with the data after they've collected it, he gets fired. So him and his friend and sometime crush, they basically plot to reboot the entire internet and they're just trying to basically break the internet. I think that's a really interesting concept of trying to reboot the entire internet but they also run into a lot of problems as they try and do this. Obviously it's the whole internet so I'm really excited to read about that and I haven't read a lot of books that are really tech focused so I am intrigued to finally read one of those. And the next book is Blood Like Magic by Liesel Sandberry. This book sounds like something that is right up my alley as like most of these and if you enjoy books about witches, I highly suggest you check this book out. In this world, witches have to undergo a test before they come into their power and our main character she fails that test and she is given an ultimatum either her family will lose their magic forever or she can kill the love of her life but there's only one problem she has not fell in love with anyone yet so she has to not only find someone to be the love of her life but she also has to then kill them in order to save her family magic. That combines two things that I absolutely adore, magic and romance. Really excited to see how the two balance each other out and how they combine to make a beautiful story and I'm really excited to read this book. And I feel like I've been saying that for every single book on this list but wouldn't be on this list if it wasn't true. And last but not least I wanted to give some books honorable mentions because I am really excited for these books. They're sequels and there's no way that I wasn't including them on this list. The first book is the book that I cannot wait for this coming year and that is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. That is the second book in the Lost Hours trilogy set in 1903 Edwardian London. It follows the children of the characters in the Infernal Devices and I read Chain of Gold and absolutely devoured it and when I got Chain of Gold I actually got to meet Cassandra Clare for the first time so that was really cool so I automatically have a really special attachment to that book so I'm even more excited to read Chain of Iron and continue on with that series because I love all of the Shadowhunter books and I love Cassandra Clare's work in general. The next book is Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahern which is coming out August 3rd. This book doesn't have a cover or a description yet but it is the last book in the Serpent and Dove trilogy and I'm so excited for this book. I just finished Blood and Honey like two days ago and I'm still reeling from that ending. I have no idea how I'm going to wait till August to see how this all wraps up and I have no idea how she's even going to wrap it up. But I'm so excited for this book and it's definitely my second most anticipated release of next year. And once I get my hands on that, I will not put it down until I'm done with it. Another book that I cannot wait for is Ravage the Dark by Tara Sim, which is the second and last book in the Scavenge the Stars duology. I read Scavenge the Stars in November and I really liked that book. It had a lot of family elements that I loved and it also had a very high revenge plotline as it is a retelling of Accounts of Monte Cristo. I have no clue where she's going to go with it so I'm really looking forward to that book. What I believe to be the last book in the Truly Devious series, The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson, is also coming out this year. I have seen that this is coming out in April and I've also seen that it's coming out in June so I'm not sure which month it's coming out in. I cannot say anything about this without spoiling the rest of the series but I do enjoy the Truly Devious series a lot and I can't wait to read the fourth book in the series. 
Plus the cover is a gorgeous purple, so I definitely want to add that to my shelves. And the very last book on this list is The Black Volume of the Dead by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This is the third book in the Elvis Curses series and it is set to come out in the fall of 2021. And I'm really excited for this book as well for the conclusion of yet another Cassandra Clare series. And while I haven't read the last book of the way, I know that I will by the end of the year. So as I was editing this video, I realized that the ending got cut off. So I am really excited for the Black Volume of the Dead, and that was the last book on this list. So I hope you found at least one book to add to your TBR. All of these books sound really good, so I hope you found at least one that suits your particular reading taste. So definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and smash that red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get notified whenever I post. And comment down below and let me know what books you are super excited for for next year and maybe I can add those to my TBR as well. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!